whenever we need to compare the multiple arrays or i would say the elements of multiple array the first thing that comes to our mind is the joints we have already read this inside the sql so if we try to understand we possibly have the four different type of joints the element that belongs to both a and b element belongs to either a or b only belongs to a but not belongs to b and only belongs to b and not belongs to a whenever we need to do that type of comparison of elements between two arrays at a time we come up with the joint concept hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power in this video we will understand or see how we can implement this concept in the power automate so let me just take you to my screen here you can see i have created a power automate and i have one array array one that array has some elements accordingly i have created one more array which also has some elements now i need to create the logic inside my power automate so that it can fulfill my all four cases so let's start in power automate we have a connector which we call it as filter array so let's start with the filter array also we would need one filter array and let's use this it asks from which now what we say we need to write the expression and let an example for now we want those arrays those element which belongs to both okay in order to element which belongs to both we need to come up with one more and let's initialize variable and give it as name as union we call it as union only let's say union array union array and this should be the combination of both in the expression we directly have the formula which you can do as union now inside the union we can pass the parameters and the parameter is array 1 comma and array 2 and then okay now this would be our union now initialize one more that would be used for the intersection let's expand this let's say it is the second case where the element belongs to both a and b intersection array now the element of this would be we already have formula in power domain whose name is intersection and we give the name of the arrays so array one slash comma array two and then okay now we have completed the union and the intersection let's give it a name as intersection now here we need to pass those element which belongs only to a but not belongs to b in that case we could just write name as only a not b so in that case what would be the our from since i already have the union array i can use the union array and then here i can pass the formula as end in the bracket and write the logical expression so i'm just writing contain inside the contain we need to pass from which collection so now i need it to go with the array one array one and then comma which element as it's a filter array so it would 
fetch each and every element from the union array so we can directly pass item and then the after the contains put the comma and then again use contain now the second array name array 2 comma item now let's try to understand what this will return me this will return all those element which belongs to array 1 and array 2 okay but we need only those which belong only to the array 1 so the first one we made it as true only like that element should belongs to array 1 but we need that element not belongs to array 2 so we can put not and enclose everything inside this bracket okay let put it okay and here is equals to we give it as true now we'll simply take the, take the copy of that and then come here clipboard and paste it here and now this time it would not be the only only a not b it should be not a only b let's say like this only b fourth case what change we need to do here again open the same formula and understand this it is saying as we are using the end operator means both condition needs to be true then only the value would be passed in which case the value should be true we need only those element which belongs to array 2 okay so we first go to the array 2 condition and here we have put not so we remove this not from here one more bracket at the end and then coming back to the first one and here we need not on the first because the element need not to be present in the array one and then close it and then update now let's try to change the flow let it save Is taking a little time I might be because of my internet okay now let's test it out done so here let's start seeing array 1 has 1 2 3 5 6 8 and 9 and array 2 has 10 25 6 18 and 9 now check what is there in the union in the union i can see 1 2 5 6 8 9 10 12 and 18 it means all the element that belongs to either a or b both are coming to the union now coming to the intersection on the intersection we can see 5 6 and 9 belongs to both arrays now coming to only a not b let's check from here not a it is only a not b okay and expand this too if you try to compare one to three okay so one two five is there six is there one two eight one two these three elements should come inside my only a one two eight okay now the same thing is for the b 10 20 and 18 okay so that's how we can create all four cases okay so just for a recall what logic we have used let me show you the formula one more time we have used the filter array connector action and then we will we have used the end function which is checking with the element is present inside the array one 
and not present inside array 2 if both condition true then only it would return that particular element that's how we can get all those elements which belongs only to the a and the reverse of it the element should not belongs to a but belongs to b if we do the end op end operation it will return all those elements which belongs only to b but not belongs to the L array one so that is all in this video everyone hope you understand this like how we can use this concept to do the comparison like you need to do it while you need to do the validations on the excel table columns like you would have the valid schema and the user would be uploading some sort of another schema in that case you would you need to fetch the columns in some sort of array and need to compare that array that is the perfect scenario to use this concept so hope you enjoyed this thank you everyone thank you have a nice day